What is mental health? Mental health refers to how a person thinks, feels, and behaves. The most common mental health disorders are anxiety disorders, mood disorders, and depression. Treatments are psychotherapy, medication, and self-help. My name is Theo, and I'm 19 years old. I'm already used for being a transferee student every time my parent wants me to transfer from another school. My classmates started to treat me like in the wrong way, like they bully me and I could feel like something is wrong with me. So I started to doubt myself if something is wrong with me. I started to become more careful on doing things. I started to notice that some of my classmates are talking something to each other while looking at me. My classmate confronted me and told me that they hated my attitude even though I treated them kindly. I got tired. I tried to commit suicide, but I stopped myself. I didn't know what to do. My mother knew something was going on, but and I told her everything. But I'm happy because I still have friends and family who are there for me. I'm blessed and I'm so thankful that God gave me another chance to live. Hi, I am Boozy and this is my story. I am a gay who lived most of my life in the closet, not being able to be myself due to the fact society is homophobic. I always hear homophobic comments being said from multiple people and my parents. My relative even beat me up for idolizing one of the famous gay artists. I've become suicidal for most of my life, but I was scared to end my life, for I was afraid of where I'll end up when I die. With the help of my friends, who I trust so much, I'm able to be happy and express myself. My friends help me with my life and the challenges face. Since this online schooling started, I was really shocked because everything felt new to me. For me, it feels more exhausting facing the screen than to learn than the normal setup when there was no pandemic yet. There were times that I would panic and cry due to deadlines I have to accomplish because my siblings rely on me too. Of course, I need to help them so that they could catch up with their lessons. It felt like I have not enough time for resting or not enough time for doing things that I love or that would relieve my stress. As time goes by, I learned how to seek help from my family members to my friends and I have learned to take a few minutes of rest for relaxation to refresh my mind. What I do is I would play with my dog, pet him here, pet him there, or I would practice some songs on my violin, or if I feel really tired, I would sleep, or I would talk to my friends to catch up with them and ask them for advices, or ask them for entertainment, or I would take my time and thank God for the blessings and for everything that he has done, especially during these times of crisis where I was safe and I haven't been affected with anything bad. Thankfully, with the help of technology, we can just send them a message or have a video call with them to give updates or just to have a conversation after all the battle we are fighting within ourselves during this pandemic. My story begins when this school year started. I found this online mode of learning really hard. Until now, I'm still adjusting to it. It got even harder when I became a class officer. I felt alone in facing all the struggles and challenges I'm experiencing. I felt that no one got me back. It made me overthink every night. But I realized that there are people who were there for me in my darkest times. I was only blinded by my own doubts and fears. Thanks to my family, my friends, and even my dog. Because of them, I can face any hurdles I need to face in life. Mental health is important. If you don't take care of it, your mind will turn against you and will feed you fear about things. So learn to not give up on yourself and on your mental health. Let us appreciate those people and even our pets that are helping us to cope up with our own struggles in life. When this pandemic started, all of my routine has been changed to adopt new things or let's just say the new normal. So as we say new, we expect new problems to encounter in our daily lives. Our routine before this pandemic is to wake up early to go to school. After school, 
is training than going. Do my homeworks, sleep, and repeat. But when this pandemic started, my daily routine became waking up late, eat, exercise, sleep, and repeat. This is so stressful for me. So for me, to relax is I watch vlogs in YouTube, explore new ideas, and playing with my pets. Mental health is important because this affects how we think and how to respond in one thing. Our Mental Health is important.